Hope you chuck. I hope it's your turn. Hope you chuck. I hope you chuck. I hope you chuck. Uba chaka. Uba chaka. Uba 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 chaka. Uba uba. I can't stop this feeling of Jack inside of me. The girl won't stay inside Jackie when she's throwing up. And today, we're giving away a fancy shirt, kind of akin to what I have on right now. But the way you can win this is as follows. As we do our reviews, we are going to insert lines from a song. You need to list all the song titles that we're taking these lines from throughout the review in our show. And if there are multiple winners, we will pick a name out of a hat, and you will win a fancy Alcanaut shirt. So. With that being said, Ray, give us the tale of the tape. Alrighty. So this week we've got Sparkle Puff IPA from Flying Monkey's Brewing. Let's crack these babies open and uh, let's find out what we got inside the can. And that is a light, light looking beer. There's lots of floaties though. Oh wow. It's oh. totally unfiltered. That is Jackie's oh. favorite thing to have, <laughs> is floaties in her drink. Let's uh, have a sip and let's find out what we got in our beverage. Cheers Jackie, cheers Ray. Cheers guys. And cheers everybody. Cheers all. Oh, okay. When it comes to this beer, all I gotta say is, Mama Say, Mama Sa, Mama Sakusa. Uh, this is a fantastic beer. I generally find hoppy beers not to be my thing. Um, and I know the IBUs are pretty low, but I'm really enjoying this right now. So I really like the, the peach feel. I really like the smoothness of it. It seems to blend in well. So all I have to say is, if you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. And if you bring this brew, I might just let you in. <sighs> you didn't say I couldn't sing it. Anyways, after running up that hill, I might um, drink some more of this. This is good. Oh, you're gonna be the one that has the most obscure lines. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know what? Most correct answers will win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. This can, as always, Flying Monkeys has probably the most creative cans in terms of art. You know, you got a cat that's shooting out rainbow laser beams out of its eyes, um, and Sparkle Puff, only you would pick this. It says, Galaxy <laughs> Starfighter, Defender of the Universe. I'm a big fan of Voltron, so I love that. I just love this art. It is just so psychedelic. Can I read what it says on here? I think it's fantastic. So, yeah. exploring realms of deep, dank space, dank space, <laughs> with the rule of three in its DNA, Sparkle Puff launches with a payload of smashed summer peaches for cushions of fierce multi-fluff behind a force field of hops. Three times dry hop, triple the hop flavor, and thrice the aroma. The 10.2 alcohol per volume of this unfiltered adventure glimmers with the epic glory of Sparkle Puff. Galaxy Starfighter, Defender of the Universe. So, with uh, that being said, um, let's have a couple more sips of this guy and let's find out if our opinions have changed in regards to this and let's see if you guys can figure out what lyrics we just threw into our review. Cheers. Cheers all. And cheers. Jackie, you want to start us off? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell you, of all the names that I've been called, I've never been called Sparkle Puff. I just, I struggle with unfiltered beers. I don't drink a lot of them. Um, the floaties do kind of gross me out a little bit, but um, it's really good flavor. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Um, there's a little bit of this that makes me happy, but as Ray said, the floaties kind of make me 
anxious. I've seen what happens to Jackie when she drinks floaties. Um, I think uh, I'm liking it, but I feel like it just lingers too much with that hoppy peach feel. And you know me, I'm not a hoppy guy. You know what, I have to say on a dark desert highway with the cool wind in my hair, I would still want a little bit more filtering on in here. So <laughs> I do like the peach still. I do like the sweetness and the alcohol content kind of makes up for it though. Flying Monkey is just known for having crazy can art. And crazy and, names. And crazy names like, uh, well, what was, was that? Puff. Juicy Ash. Juicy Ash IPA. IPA. Yes. Riley Michaels, if you're out there, you know, you're a trooper. But uh, yeah, they are creative. I, I've got to give them that. Yes. And, and they've been around for a while. Great brewery. Um, I think they're one of the original kind of macro craft breweries um, in Ontario. Uh, but they kind of set the standard. They kind of they kind of they kind of seem to be trailblazers. They definitely put uh, their artistic you know touch on their beers. You know, honestly. I've never really been a fan of, you know, Flying Monkeys. Yep. It's not the company per se, it's just your beers can be quite hoppy. Yeah. I'm not getting overly hoppy on this, so it's easy for me to drink, but the, there's still that lingering, which I almost think is a uh, a signature of Flying Monkey. Yeah. I think we should just call Paul Dorothy. <laughs> She's got an aversion to Flying Monkeys. Yeah. Well, we could just call Len Karen. Because he bitches about everything. Oh! Who's Len? Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, Len! <laughs> Did I say Len? <laughs> <laughs> Paul called me Len. <laughs> wow. That was the worst thing. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it. Like, his mom took away his Wi Fi? <laughs> wow! Ah, <laughs> uh, yikes. Um, Len, if you're watching, it's not you. <laughs> it's been a hard day's night, but we should probably get through this as fast as we can. You're not, you're not even close. No, no. I'm not looking forward to the chug. But I think when we chug, it's going to be like, Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, down it goes. Ooh. Oh, now you're coming up with that? You're going to have nothing at the review. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> None of those count, by the way. Only the ones in the reviews. Only the ones in the reviews. You have to filter them out, unlike this beer. Uh, I just want to point out, Jackie, um, there is a lot of sediment at the bottom, so when we do the chug, I hope, I hope you... I hope you. I hope you. hope you chug. I hope it's your turn. I hope you chuck. I hope you chuck. I hope you chuck. You get chaka? Ray, I want you to give us the rules of the chug, <gasps> but I want you to hold the can up and talk like the cat would talk on the yes. can. Be the cat. Love it. As we drink this beer down, I will count from three to two to one. Then we'll chug them back and hopefully not throw up all over ourselves. <laughs> that is, you know what? Uh, that is awesome. Ray, count three, us down. Two, one, go, fuckers. Do you need a bucket? No. Your eyes are glossy. Um, and if you're going down the dark and lonely road, this is a great beer to chug because you don't think about all the things that are inside it. The peach flavor, actually when you chug it, the peach flavor comes out immensely. If it wasn't so strong at 10.2%, I think this would probably be a regular beer in my fridge. It's definitely a one, maybe two maximum a night kind of beer. I really enjoyed the flavor. I really wish it was filtered, but good job Flying Monkeys. I'm gonna give you a four on this one. Um, this beer was really good despite the unfilteredness of it. I would drink it all the time. Like I said, I just drink it out of the can and it would never make a difference to me. I'm a mind over matter kind of person, so it would be fantastic. And I would definitely drink this again, especially with the alcohol content. Like on this lonely road, I walk alone. I don't know where it goes, but it's only me. All I can say is, you know, if you want to have a strong beer to have a good time, 
Um, I'm probably saying that you're probably in an area where two trailer park girls go, are going to go around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Most likely, two trailer park girls are going to go around the outside. Oh, by the way. But did they go around the outside? They did. And guess who's back? Back again. Back again. Back Shady's back? Shady's back. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Slim Shady's back? It's, uh, it's a strong beer. The strength of the beer in terms of the ABV really blends well with the taste of the alcohol. I'm enjoying this. Um, I wouldn't necessarily buy it all the time, wouldn't necessarily stock my fridge, but you know what? It's good enough for me to give you guys a three and a half out of five. So with that being said, um, you know what? We want you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Please uh, help these guys uh, earn a living. Uh, I am sitting on a pile of gold at home, so I, I it's okay. But these two, for just pennies a day, you can support these two guys. Just pennies a day. That's all they deserve, is just pennies. They can eat pennies. Pennies don't exist anymore, Paul. Mother And with that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. And I'm Jackie. And we are the Alconauts. Cheers, all. Take care.